Hello everybody and welcome back to part 2 of my graveyard diorama made for 1 6th scale figures but it can easily be used with smaller scales as well. So first up we have to finish the diorama base and uh, I'm going to finish my paint job here by dry brushing some of the rocks. Next step is going to apply grass effects. I'm using some model stuff called turf and uh, first I apply glue and I try to work in small areas at a time otherwise the glue might dry out before you are able to finish. And then I'm going to continue adding further details, bushes, water and then we'll come to the different items that I'm going to put on the diorama. to look like small pools of water or mud on the diorama, I can uh, recommend to use this uh, water effect called still water, but there are also other methods. You can apply it and it dries clear and you can also add color to it so it looks more muddy, but it's a pretty cool effect and I like how it looks on the diorama. and made quite a few items to put on the graveyard but I think it could be cool to have an old dirty looking fence as well so I took this wood and broke it into smaller pieces so let's see if we can put it together and paint it Here I apply some varnish uh, in some of the areas of the diorama base because when it dries it looks like this. It looks like the ground is wet or slimy and it's a pretty cool effect. So here we have the diorama base pretty much completed. Of course you can continue to add all the details you want, but this is an example of how it could look. So now the idea is to look at the different items that I have made and collected. The headstones here, 
I also have some rocks, a few statues, and the fence. And all of these can be put on the diorama, not permanently, but placed anywhere you like, and you can change them around, create different looks, different displays, depending on what figures you want uh, on the diorama. And, uh, well, let's see, let's put the fence over here, and a headstone. And then I'll continue with the rest. You don't have to put all of them on, of course, but I'll see how it looks when I think I'm finished. Let's say that this is it, and finally I'm going to put the figure, see if I can balance it with one hand here, on the base. And then you have a display, or you have a scene that you can take some photos, and of course you have to have a more fitting background. This I love this alleyway background, but it's not really well suited for a graveyard. So if you can come up with something, uh, and maybe I'm going to make something, I don't know, in the future. For now, I just think I'll experiment with the base, take a few shots, make some final adjustments, and that's it. Thanks so much for watching this graveyard diorama tutorial. Leave a comment and subscribe if you'd like to see more in the future. And I'm going to finish off with some of my own photos of 1 6th and 1 12th scale figures in the diorama.